Welcome back everyone to Lore of the Shadow, where I am back here once again with Hathir at Talon Hathir, where I am checking on the status of our preparations to enter Mirkwood. How are we going? The Golden Host is at last ready to cross the River Arnwing. It has taken a great while, Pine Lore, but at last the preparations are complete. The Maladrim, the golden host of Lothlorien, are now ready to cross the river Anduin and assail the forces of Dol Guldur. I don't yet know the specifics of the plan, friend, but it seems that the golden host is to have two objectives to bring battle to the enemy in Gogoldor at the time of our choosing, before he can attack the woods of Lothlorien in force, and to exchange Mazog, the prisoner of the Iron Garrison, for the captives in the dungeons of Dolgodor. Your aid has been requested for both of these aims. Go now to Imlad Laleth on the shores of the Anduin and speak to Braglin there. He will recount to you the details of each plan. Great. Wonderful. There are two plans going on and they want me for both of them. Why am I not surprised? I have found Braglin here. Hello. I had begun to wonder if you would not wish to be part of the first crossing. You have come at last. See this river Anduin? Its currents are strong, though this be a calm enough place to cross. And once we land on the far shore, we will need to be ready for anything. The landing may be uneventful, but then it may be tumultuous indeed. It will be up to of Fuergum and the other side of the Anduin to ensure that all goes as smoothly as it may. Once we are secure on the beaches, I will arrange for a second crossing to bring the company that will escort our prisoner to Dol Gudor. Are you ready to travel upon the first boats to cross? Speak with Kalingoth down by the docks if you are ready. Alright, I guess we shall go. And we are ready for an adventure. Welcome to Mirkwood. Echad Sirion. The Murkies. All sorts of other names that we may have here. Rep vendors. Like, that's going to be useful considering it neutral. St requires neutral standing with the Maladrim. Look, I don't even have neutral standing yet, it sounds like. Right, your standing is too... What does that start out with if you don't even have neutral standing? Maybe the first quest just unlocks that. Well then, let's go and speak with some of the people here. Expedition! Uh, bridging the gap. Yes, another expedition area. Will you lend me your ear? A fine day for battle. Do you not agree? In any case, uh, Forgan has tasked me with ensuring that we are not taken unawares from the south. There is a small river there, with a few bridges leading to the orc encampment to the far side. We can't spare the forces to assault those fortifications, so we're going to take the bridges instead and prevent them from crossing over. I am certain that you can handle a straightforward task such as that, can you not? Alright, so you want me to take the bridges, capture a couple of bridges, a and you expect me to me alone to hold two bridges. Right. And what else we got here? Mind my words, traveler. I have a little challenge for you. Do you see all those orc fortifications out there? They communicate with each other through trained runners, and goblins usually, who carry messages from one to another. Uh, defeat those messengers and their communication f will be disrupted. Okay, kill goblin runners. I've done a quest like that before. Yes, if you are fortunate, you might even capture a message or two from them, uh, though they usually memorize the information that they are supposed to deliver to avoid such issues. When you have done what is asked, please return to me. Alright, so kill them 
and bring any messages that they may have on them even though most likely they just memorized what was on there oh well you want to talk to me or not oh well she's tending patients I guess we need to give her time to reach them fear not we shall have you walking beneath the bowels of Lothlorien again soon stay a moment we have little time here before more wounded arrived or those who have been most severely injured pass into the west, but we have not even had a chance to unpack our supplies as of yet, and in the rush of the landing, these fools have mixed the bandages w and other healing goods with the rest of the crates. I need you to find the bandages in amongst the other supplies. Then see as many of the wounded as you can and quickly. Return to me when you have completed this task. Right, okay, fine. Okay, let's see what's in here. Mm. Ah, some bandages. Alright, that's good. Let's see what's in this crate. Oh, more bandages. All right, good. Let's see what we've got over here. Mm, well, uh, that's not bandage. Let's see what we have here. Miscellaneous military supplies. What about here? Mm, miscellaneous military supplies. I hope that's not the full... Ah, here's some more over here. What's in here? I wonder if there are enough bandages. For some reason, they want me to find five of them. I hope they don't have individual bandages here, and that's all that... I mean, that would be really, really silly if they've only packed up five bandages in all these crates. And surely there are... Oh, that, that's the campfire. Sure, there have to be more bent. Maybe they're just packets of medical supplies, and I need to deliver those also. And let's see. Ah, here's another box right over here. Oh, several boxes. All right, good. That's a sufficient quantity of bandages. Hello there. Might you spare a moment of your time? Hi, Lore. There are a pair of orc fortifications defending the banks of the Anduin. One which they call Durbushtagst lies immediately to our north, the other, Falog, a bit further to the south. One of our first objectives is to eliminate these two fortifications so that our landing will continue unimpeded. We need you to bolster the forces attacking the encampments particularly the assaults upon the gates. You must choose one of them to assault. Uh, you can't be in two places at once. Finally, there is a quest that gives a nod to that little fact because there have been too many cases where I felt like they expect me to be in two places at once. Well, take its gate and hold it for as long as you can. We will send reinforcements there as soon as possible. All right, fine. Second one. Leaderless, they fall. Will you lend me your ear? The battle is well underway now, but time is not on our side, and we must hasten to the feet of our foes by any means. The orcs and goblins here in Merkeves are driven by Uruk war leaders who drive them in battle. Without these strong war leaders to threaten and lead them into battle, the rest will fall aside in disarray and fear of our strength. Take the battle to any of the Uruks whom you should encounter. Each one that you defeat shall mean a swifter victory for us all. Alright, fine. I will defeat war leaders. And finally... Stay a moment. The battle goes well for us, but the Orcs in the nearby fortresses are proving to be tenacious. It seems that they have also laid in supplies for a prolonged siege, should it come to that. But we can't afford to be tied down here for very long, or the might of Dol Guldur will push us back into the Anduin. 
we bid you to fight your way into those camps and destroy their supplies. This will both weaken their defenses and ensure that none of them will be able to retreat with valuable stores back to the Dark Tower. When you have completed this task, return to me for further instructions. Alright, fine. So we'll go in there, kill a couple of their leaders, grab supplies, and of course hold the gate for a while before we do... Oh, yes, right. I'm supposed to be tending to some patients here, aren't I? Well, I hope they didn't all die while I was doing that. Well, he's being tended to at the moment, so... Uh, thank you. I could not have done as well myself, even were my arm not broken. Okay, well, I... Glad. Well, not that your arm is broken. Ah, you have my thanks. Okay. You need any bandages for this? Ah, thank you. Alright, fine. Hello? Ah, the elf grimaces silently as you try to staunch the bleeding of the severe stomach wound. After you've done the best you could, you move on. Not sure whether you lived through the night. Oh, wonderful. And what about you? The soldier is having serious trouble breathing and cannot speak. You realize that the left side of his chest has been nearly crushed by a massive blow. You have bandaged some of his lesser wounds in an effort to comfort him, but he's clearly dying and beyond aid. <sighs> what do you say? What can I do for you? Your care for the soldiers is timely and much appreciated. With some rest and healing, most of them should be able to return to Lothlorien to recover in a few days. And those who cannot, we shall be reunited in, with, within ages to come in the furthest west. Right. Ooh. Right, well. Now, does that mean that I am now neutral? What do you need? Yes, and now I am officially neutral with them. Guide to the Murkeys and muster to the Murkeys. Well, obviously I'm not going to be able to get any of those. May I help you? And these are for... It looks like... Oh, cosmetic weapons. Alright, they used to be uh, legendary items in there, but of course since those are no longer relevant, I guess. And of course they all have minimum levels of 60s in any case. So... I suppose that's the thing. And so that means it's time for me to head north to... Hold on. I didn't realize she had another quest for me. Mind my words, traveler. A handful of our soldiers have gone missing, and I fear that they may have been cut off from our forces during the initial rush of the assault. Keep a watchful eye out for any of them while you are out in the murky eaves. Uh, and lend them whatever aid that you can if you are able to come across them. They are skilled warriors in their own right, but these are a great many orcs still roaming the area. All right, okay, fight. Rescue a desperate, exhausted, and wounded soldier. And if I find one who's all three of those, he's probably not going to live through it. Uh, there's a warg out here. A rider. I don't think I have the rider quest yet, but... There is a deed for killing mobs, apparently, in the area. So we might as well take care of those. Now, I am supposed to find the fortress, which I think this is it. Mm. Evil strongholds of Mirkwood. How is a stronghold evil? I, I presume they mean a stronghold that is held by evil. By the forces of evil. I will go with that interpretation of it for the moment. Now, let's see. We need to make a... A goblin hurler. I will presume that someone who throws nasty things at me as opposed to a goblin that participates in the sport of hurling or anything like that. Now, let's see. We got this. Okay, now I have taken a gate. Well, I'm not too sure I call it taking a gate if I'm just starting a battle here. I have arrived at a gate. I will agree with that. Uh, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, well, you know my 
myself for a moment before returning here. Now, I need to hold this for another two and a half minutes. So I guess it's a three minute holding of the gate. But that means I can't just go and do any other quests inside at the moment. Because if I did that, I believe I would fail this thing. So, there's... Just make sure that the rangers have all the help that they need. Because they are probably going to be needed. Those are... Actually, more likely they're Maladrim rather than rangers. Not that I know much of a difference on that matter. I know, I know. The Maladrim are... Our elves and the rangers are Dunedain. There you go. And next, I'm just trying to make sure I don't do any quests that, I mean, any attacks that could get me into trouble. Looks like it did anyway. nice to get water lore at some point. I mean, when do I get water lore? I need a way to... Oops. Water lore. Okay, because I'm 59 now, so I'm getting close to 60. Actually, I should be at 60 by maybe next episode? We have to see. But yes, I'm getting close to level 60, so I would hope I'm getting to close to getting water lore. And how am I doing? Oh, 25 more seconds. I think it does give me a notification when it's safe for me to move again. And this orc is ready to pound me in the face. And that, that's why I have the cat along here, is to... Help me to kill the orcs. I okay, fine. I have held the gate. Oops, it easy. But I suppose I should kill this goblin first. Yeah, and there you go. Uh, now I'm trying to get out of the combat zone so that I can. Go and take care of the other quests. All right, let's head along here. Now, you get, uh, here's one of the crates I need to destroy. Right, I'm supposed to destroy these things? Destroyed supply crates. Yeah, it's supposed to destroy supply crates. Alright, so now let's... You go there, you go there, and you go down. And I'll just keep on looking for these crates until I run into one of those Uruks. Next! Deeper into the fortress with more goblins of war back. And a war leader. Uh, hi there. I'm here to kill you. Uh, he's got a corruption. There you go. Get rid of one. Alright, now that's one of them down. Or one of the. Yeah, one down. And it looks like we've got another box. Just one more box, good. And then we can just go up that hill where I think I'll find the other war leader. Ah, there he is. I 
Ray gets if it's the last one. We can just make swift work of him. And that's it. See, we've got the boxes. We've got that. It looks like we've got everything done. So I think that... Oops. <laughs> I keep on forgetting about that one. So I think I can just head on down and... Take the shortcut. Gates held. War leaders down. What can I do for you? Well fought. Now that the enemy is pinned within the fortifications, uh, we can work on destroying them all together. Well, there aren't many left after what I did to them. Also, I killed those leaders. What can I do for you? Your skills in battle match those even of the Maladrim. You, with most of their Uruk leaders fallen, the remaining forces of the enemy shall soon be driven back to Dolgudor. Alright, well, except for the fact that they probably got several thousand more over there. What do you need? And the supplies have been destroyed. Well done! Without the supplies of arrows and provisions, the orcs will not be able to hold out much longer. And the rest of our forces are coming ashore and moving further into the force as we speak. Ooh. Now that we have managed to deal with one of their fortifications and allowing others to follow, we will end this episode. But next time, we'll have more work to do as we prepare for the invasion of the Maladream here in Lore of the Shadows.